Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be having a look at this little paraffin heater. It's uh, been working very well for the last uh, three winter months, running for about 12 hours a day, but at the moment it just needs a little bit of attention. This little dial over here, this is the one that raises the wick inside there. Um, raises the wick before you light it and this red button here is to um, is to drop the wick so you can see if I just turn it it really won't go any further I have to I have to force it up so the first thing I'm going to do is take out that so now I've got the camera in the correct angle and I've got a little bit of light on the subject I'm going to turn that dial to raise the wick, and you can see what will happen. It doesn't come out very far, and it's very black. So the first thing I'll do is take out the paraffin container. Secondly, this dial will just pull off. There are three or four screws holding the cover on. Take out now, and now this whole cover should actually just lift off. You just have to edge it past that shaft over there. So this is how a paraffin heater works. When you put your um, your container of paraffin into that hole. It pushes down this lever here. I'll demonstrate that. Then you wind the wick up. And I just remove the container of paraffin. It will automatically trip that. So having a look at this wick, you can see how black it is, <clears throat> and right over there, if I get the screwdriver, you can actually probably hear it scraping. So all those little fibers are really clogged up, and uh, if I clean it, it's probably going to make the heater work a lot better and a lot faster. So as you can see, I've put a piece of wood there just to keep that lever down, so the wick will stay up. So as you can see, there is uh, paraffin in the bottom of the reservoir. I'm going to burn it all off and let it burn the wick as well. And um, in that way, it will clean the wick. So now I'm going to light it by hand. And I will just put this back on. I'm going to leave it for about an hour and then come back again. So this is half an hour later and it's still burning. This is an hour and a half later and it's still going. So it took about three, three hours for the reservoir to run dry. But having a look at the wick, there are still some, um, still a little bit of black there. So I'm going to just burn it off. So now I let it run for about another hour. And already I can see the wick is lightening up. It's not as black as it was. But um, there is a part over here that is still pretty black. So what I'm going to do is just turn the dial so it raises it to its maximum height. And I'm going to get a pliers. Put the pliers in there and try and pull it up a little bit. Like that. And then I hold it with my finger. And you get the pliers. And if you listen carefully, you can hear those like little crystals cracking. I'm going to get an old toothbrush. Give it a bit of a sweep. Now you can see the wick is a lot lighter in colour and it's not as difficult to turn on. It goes up very easily. 
I've also noticed the back is actually pretty dirty, so I'm going to polish that up to a uh, like a mirror finish. You can probably just use uh, soap and water with this, and then buff it up with a dry cloth when it's finished. She's come to inspect. She sits in front of this heater all day long. So now that everything is put back together, I'm going to put the paraffin container back in again and wait for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to wait until the reservoir fills up again. So now the heat has been standing for well over an hour. Uh, the dial is a lot easier to turn up. And I'm just going to light it up, put the glass on. It's going to work a lot more efficiently, it's going to work a lot hotter and a lot quicker and I think by cleaning the back the heat is going to be reflecting out a lot easier.